Uh, welcome to Real Vision. My name is Santiago Velez, and today I'm here with the co-founder and CEO of Elrond, which is an exciting project that we hope to showcase uh, and learn more about. Uh, welcome, Bienamin, me too. Uh, welcome to Real Vision. Santiago, really great to, to connect and have this conversation. Thanks for having me. All right. So uh, full transparency, you know, I've, I've been in the blockchain space for uh, a while as an observer, investor. I've done many interviews, but I had never heard of the project until fairly recently. And there's been an incredible amount of buzz uh, around it. And I think it's been driven largely by a, a really powerful community. So first of all, let's, let's find out a little bit about yourself and how you got into this. And then we'll get into the project uh, and what you guys are trying to do. So tell us about uh, where you come from. Definitely. Uh, so the the idea is that I've been in the blockchain space since uh, probably 2013, when I initially stumbled into Bitcoin, went deep down the rabbit hole, and um, had this um, fundamental insight that this space was going to um, essentially take over the, the economy. Um, and at that point, um, I, I was looking at two things, specifically the, the new things that um, Bitcoin was going to enable. Um, and then I, I was also trying to take a very careful look at um, uh, some of the uh, potential limitations of Bitcoin, because immediately as, as things uh, were, were becoming clear to me, it was also clear that, that there were some um, limitations there. And so in 2014, I became part of the NEM core team. Um, and then in 2016, together with my brother, we essentially formed a fund through which we invested in something like more than 30 um, architecture blockchain startups. Um, and throughout this process, we, we uh, um, had a really deep understanding of both the fundamental issues, um, the uh, attempted solutions, and then um, all the progress that was being made or not being made. Um, and, and so at the end of 2017, um, after, after investing in, in all this exciting um, and interesting startups, which none of them would, uh, would essentially deliver the, the solution that we were looking for, it was clear that we were still in a space where um, there were two fundamental problems. One of them was um, we got sort of stuck in a dial-up version of the blockchain space. And the second one was that um, UX was so terrible that uh, people had to learn rocket science to basically be able to do um, a few transactions. And so this was the point at which uh, we essentially um, gathered a, a team of uh, really, really resourceful engineers from some of the top um, companies, tech companies in the world with PhDs in computer science and, and so forth, Olympiads in, in math and other technical fields. And uh, we started from the point of gathering a team with which we can literally build rockets uh, because then in essence, any problem we would attempt to solve would not be as difficult as solving uh, this kind of very, very uh, rocket science taking of problems. Um, Elrond started from this point with the goal of building an architecture that could bring a 1000x improvement in throughput, execution speed, and transaction cost, uh, because we believe that in order for blockchain to really see widespread adoption, we would require a transition from dial-up to broadband in the blockchain space. Um, and so um, this is how it all started. Um, we basically had two important breakthroughs uh, that Elrond was, was built on. The, one, the first one was this idea of adaptive state sharding. Uh, where instead of um, processing transaction in a serial manner by all computers at the same time, you basically divide and conquer. So split the network into smaller network, 
uh, networks parallelize transaction processing. And the key point is that uh, you can basically have a network that increases with the demand that it requires. So uh, this was one of the elements. And then the second element was if you can scale transaction processing, you also need a very, very efficient um, effective and secure consensus mechanism. And this is uh, how we came up with secure proof of stake. Um, from, from that point, there's an entire discussion to, to where we came and, and so forth. But the most important thing is that um, Elrond is live. Um, open source can process much more than we initially um, set out to. And um, yeah, happy to dive into the, the process, how we came here and uh, where we are at this point. Excellent. So if I'm understanding correctly, your Elrond tries to solve the central problem of kind of the layer one, uh, generation one blockchains, right? Essentially this trade-off between security, decentralization and scalability, right? And you're always having to trade one of those for the other. Uh, and so what you're saying is that you put some very talented people to try and solve the problem uh, and scale without compromising, so I guess, some of the core values. Is that a fair summation? Um, yeah, so the I think the blockchain trilemma uh, is basically uh, an assumption that was made at the time where the discussion uh, had some clear limitation on the technical uh, engineering front, but is not necessarily a real uh, fundamental, uh, let's say, constraint. So the trilemma is just uh, an assumption that uh, people at that point coined because they had no better alternative or better solution space uh, in, in mind. Uh, but at this point, I don't think that the trilemma applies uh, in, in the sense that you can have um, both high speed and bandwidth. Um, real security uh, and decentralization in a way that was not possible in 2014 when this um, trilemma was initially introduced. And I, I believe Elrond creates a new solution space to imagine things, right? When, when it's like uh, you're trying to look at things in, in a two-dimensional space, then you have some clear constraint when you're looking at them from three dimensions and, and so on. Uh, you have a different kind of uh, solution space. And um, this is where we are at uh, this point. I hope you enjoyed this clip and will decide to join us for the rest of the interview, among many others on realvision.com forward slash crypto. The crypto channel is 100% free. You just have to sign up. Look forward to seeing you there.